Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. We are here in Isabella Lake. We have a fantastic place, different rocks, all kinds of sizes. The weather is fantastic. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to build an intermediate section and I'm going to ride the 2022 Epure R and then I'm going to ride the 2023 Escape R and then I'm going to ride the Jaime Busto Vertigo Nitro 2022 300 so I want you guys to see how the bikes basically can handle intermediate section we have two electric bike and then one gas bike fuel inject we have this bike with the seat the escape R let's see what happened For every ride, I check air pressure. For me, it's five and a half to six in the front and four and a half to five on the rear, and that's in PSI. Before every ride is good to check, and when I compete, I actually check every loop because it seems like the pressure increase from the heat, it expand. It also depends on where you ride. If it's more sand or mostly rocky, muddy. We don't have so much mud here in Sokal. It's all dry and we have very good traction. So the low air pressure for me works very well. I wear in GT and I use GT products. It's just because I'm a dealer. Okay guys. So I make a small section here intermediate class in Sokal is yellow and I'm going to ride three bikes electric motion and vertigo two of them is the electric escape and pure and my vertigo is a fuel inject two stroke so that's how my section is gonna be I'm gonna start here I did not ride it yet this is all new so that's my first gate. I'm gonna come here and drop down. I'm gonna need to make a turn here and go over this rock. I'm gonna come down here nice and easy and then come down here. go on this rock garden for a little bit then I have option to go left or right that's the other gate that's the fourth gate and then the fifth gate will be coming here that's a little tricky there's a little gap go over this rock and come back down I'm gonna start on the 2022 a pure R then I'm gonna ride the escape R and last the vertigo and um, let's see what
manageable. It's so nice to ride this 23. It's interesting, but the other two electric motion, all I had to do is turn the key, the switch on, the button, and I was ready to go. With the Vertigo or any other engine bike, you need to warm it up first. And this is the first time I started today.
all three bikes are wonderful they decide to do the same jobs maybe some limitation on the escape arm because you have a seat so the big difference I felt is when you lean the bike to turn you might need to open more the legs because the seat is on the way and on the other bikes you can really lean and turn it's slightly heavier too but it definitely get the job done novice sportsman intermediate if you are a good rider you probably can do clubman and who knows maybe more but uh, you definitely have pluses which uh, you can take it on a long uh, trail ride and you probably can get easily 20 mile which the other bikes in 10 mile might need fuel and this thing but might need to get a charge again so there is always plus and minus uh, yeah all bikes are beautiful the biggest thing you're gonna feel it's the gas engine have more engine braking so when you shut the throttle it's kind of slowed down when it's in first gear inside the section and that gives you more maybe time to think and correct if it's acceleration or braking and on the BM bikes it doesn't have engine braking so you keep rolling so you are constant, constantly needs to be on the brakes or throttle brakes throttle and back to your balance but they are very very capable you obviously seen the French guy uh, do amazing things with the bike and um, yeah I think that's it I cover all for the intermediate section for all those